we and the world. Silver, day and night. Silver woke up early. There was light outside. Lots of light, the same light it had yesterday morning and the day before, and every day. But where does the darkness go? She wondered aloud. And at night, where does the light go? But before she could get out of bed, a wheel was heard whistling from the hallway. Something was approaching fast. Something rolling. Something colorful. The door opened with a naya, and there was, albeit young Mrs. Stravillaneth, eccentric babysitter, with round glasses, strange hair and shoes with wheels. Silva, it's time to spin! She shouted happily. Silva shook her head, laughing. She knew what was coming. Experiment. Observation. Science. And something will definitely roll under the bed? Mrs. Strovelina closed the curtains, brought an orange, a flashlight, and a toothpick. This is our planet, she said, pointing to the orange. And this flashlight is the sun, she stuck the toothpick into the orange. There it is! Our little friend Silver on Earth, said Mrs. Strevelina, laughing Dot. And then she started to spin the orange in front of the lit flashlight. The flashlight is our sun, she explained. Look, when Silver, that is, the toothpick, turns in front of the light of the flashlight, it is daytime. Do you see how bright the front of the orange is? Silver leaned over and saw. Yes, there is light. But behind the orange, the light does not reach. It is dark there. This is night. So, the sun does not leave? Are we turning? Exactly, shouted Strovelina and fell off the chair laughing. At the same moment, the flashlight slipped. Under the bed. Oh. We lost the sun. Now we have an eclipse, she shouted theatrically, and they both burst into laughter. When they found the flashlight again, Mrs. Strovelina said more quietly, but there is something that is even more impressive. He took the orange, tilted its axis slightly, and showed it to Silver at the North Pole. Something magical happens. The earth is so strangely turned towards the sun that he put a thick hat on his head and shouted, the sun stays in the sky for six whole months and then disappears for another six. Silver was left speechless. Half a year of day and half a year of night? Yes, like a frozen summer that lasts forever, and a night that lasts until Christmas. At the North Pole Arctic, there is day from March to September, night from September to March. At the South Pole Antarctic, the opposite happens, night from March to September, day from September to March. So there are places where the sun never sets in the summer. There are Norway, Canada, Alaska, dot dot dot, if you want endless sun, go there. And what does one need to take? Mrs. Trevelina leaned over and whispered conspiratorially, sunglasses and lots of blankets. The sun is shining, but the cold stings, Silva laughed. And then Mrs. Trevelina stood up with a serious expression. And because science is not just for listening to, but for doing it, Mrs. Trevelina raised her hands up and shouted, and now? Children, search the cupboards, dust the drawers, but don't mix up grandma's pasta. It's time for the experiment. Use the materials we mentioned above and see for yourself. The alternation of day and night. Click on the link below to see the experiment in action. If you liked our story, give us a like and subscribe. If you also have questions about things happening around us and you want Mrs. Strovelina to solve them, Write to us in the comments. Thank you for being with us.